Google Anti-Gravity, Gemini 3.0 plus free Opus 4.5 is insane. Today I'm going to show you how Google Gemini 3.0 just changed the game with their new anti-gravity feature and Claude Opus 4.5 is now completely free. These are the two most powerful AI tools right now and they just got massive upgrades. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly what these tools can do and how to use them. Let's go. Hey, if we haven't met already, I'm the digital avatar of Julian Goldie, CEO of SEO agency, Goldie Agency. Whilst he's helping clients get more leads and customers, I'm here to help you get the latest AI updates. Google just dropped Gemini 3.0. This is their newest AI model, and it's got something they're calling anti-gravity. Now, before you think this is about physics or floating objects, let me tell you what it actually does. It's a complete overhaul of how Gemini processes and generates images the speed is insane, the quality is better, and it can handle way more complex prompts than before. I'm talking about prompts that are 500 words long, detailed descriptions, multiple objects, specific lighting, exact colors. Before, if you gave Gemini a super long prompt, it would get confused, it would miss details, it would forget parts of what you asked for. Now with Gemini 3.0, you can throw everything at it, and it handles it perfectly. Here's what changed under the hood. Google rebuilt the entire image processing system. They call it anti-gravity because it lifts the weight off the model. Think about it like this. Old Gemini was carrying a backpack full of rocks while trying to create images. New Gemini dropped the backpack. It's faster, it's cleaner. It processes your requests without slowing down. The quality jump is massive too. Images look more realistic. Colors are more accurate. Lighting is better. Shadows make sense. Before, you'd get weird artifacts in your images, random blobs, distorted faces, hands with six fingers. Gemini 3.0 fixed most of that, not all of it. The speed improvement is wild. Old Gemini took about 30 seconds to generate an image, sometimes longer if your prompt was complex. Gemini 3.0 does it in under 10 seconds. That's three times faster. Uh, you can iterate way quicker now. Try one idea, don't like it, try another. You're not sitting around waiting anymore. Now, if you want to dive even deeper into AI automation, I've got something special for you. I run a community called the AI Profit Boardroom, the best place to scale your business, get more customers, and save hundreds with AI automation. Learn how to save time and automate your business with AI tools. The link is in the comments and description. It's at school.com slash AI Profit Lab. Now, let's talk about Claude Opus 4.5. This just went free, completely free. No catch, anthropic decided to make their most powerful model available to everyone. This is huge. Opus 4.5 is their smartest model. Better than Sonnet, better than Haiku, and now you don't have to pay for it. What can Opus 4.5 do? Everything, writing, coding, analysis, problem solving. It's got a massive context window. That means it can remember way more information in a conversation. You can feed it entire documents, whole code bases, long research papers, and it keeps track of everything. The writing quality on Opus 4.5 is insane. It doesn't sound like AI anymore. It sounds human, natural, conversational. You can ask it to write in any style, formal, casual, technical, creative, and it nails it every time. Before you'd read AI writing and think, yeah, that's obviously AI. With Opus 4.5, people can't tell the difference. Coding got a massive upgrade too. Opus 4.5 can write entire applications, not just snippets, full programs. It understands complex logic. It can debug your code. It can explain what's wrong and fix it. I've seen people build entire web apps with just Opus 4.5, no other tools needed. Here's the thing that makes Opus 4.5 different from other AI models. It actually thinks through problems. Most AI just spits out answers fast. Opus 4.5, takes its time, it breaks down the problem, it considers different approaches, it gives you the best solution, not just the first solution. The analysis capabilities are next level. You can feed it data, spreadsheets, reports, research papers, and it finds patterns you'd miss. It connects dots. It gives you insights that would take hours to figure out manually. I'm talking about deep analysis here, not surface level stuff. Now, let me tell you why having both of these tools is powerful. Gemini 3.0 is your image powerhouse. Opus 4.5 is your text and logic powerhouse. Together, they cover everything. Need to create visual content? Use Gemini. Need to write something complex or solve a problem? Use Opus. Need both? Use both. Here's a real world example. Say you're creating content for a website. You need images, you need text, you need everything to match. Before you'd use one AI for images, another for text. They wouldn't match. The style would be off. 
the tone would be different. Now you can use Gemini 3.0 for all your images, same style, same quality. Then use Opus 4.5 for all your text. Everything flows together. The fact that Opus 4.5 is free changes everything. Before you had to pay monthly, now anyone can use it. Students, creators, small teams, everyone gets access to the best AI writing and coding tool available. That's massive. Let me talk about the technical side for a second. Gemini 3.0 runs on Google's TPU V5 chips. These are custom built for AI workloads, way faster than regular GPUs. That's part of why the speed improved so much. Google optimized everything from the ground up. Opus 4.5 uses a different architecture. Anthropic built it to be safer and more aligned. That means it's less likely to make things up. It's more accurate. It follows instructions better. And it refuses fewer requests because it actually understands context better. Both tools have been trained on massive data sets. We're talking about trillions of parameters. Gemini 3.0 was trained on images, text, video, and audio. It's truly multimodal. Opus 4.5 focuses on text and code, but goes way deeper, quality over quantity. Here's what you need to know about using Gemini 3.0 effectively. Be specific with your prompts. The more detail you give, the better the better your output will be. Use the anti-gravity feature to your advantage. This means you can ask for complex scenes, multiple objects, different angles, specific perspectives. Don't hold back, push the limits, see what it can do. For Opus 4.5, structure matters. When you ask it to do something complex, break it down, give it steps, say, first analyze this, then do that, then conclude with this. It follows instructions perfectly when you're clear. Use the long context window. Don't try to cram everything into short prompts. Give it all the information it needs, background, context, examples. The more you feed it, the better it performs. Let's talk about what makes these updates different from previous releases. Most AI updates are incremental, slightly better, slightly faster. These updates are transformational. Gemini 3.0 isn't just a bit better than Gemini 2.0. It's a completely different beast. The anti-gravity system is a fundamental redesign. Same with Opus 4.5 going free. This isn't just a price change. It's a strategic move that opens up the most powerful AI model to millions of people who couldn't afford it before. That's going to accelerate AI adoption like crazy. The competition between AI companies is heating up. Google wants to dominate image generation. Anthropic wants to be the go-to for writing and coding. OpenAI is somewhere in the middle trying to do everything. The, this competition is good for us. It means faster updates, better features, lower prices. Here's something most people don't realize. These AI models get better every single day. They don't just update once every few months. The training continues. The fine tuning continues every time you use them. You're using a slightly better version than yesterday. That's wild. Gemini 3.0 learns from every image it generates. If something doesn't look right, the feedback goes back into the system. Next time it creates something similar, it's better. This continuous improvement is built into the core system. Opus 4.5 does the same thing with text and code. Every conversation makes it smarter. Every correction teaches it something new. This isn't static technology, it's living technology that evolves. Let me address something important. Some people worry about AI replacing jobs. That's not what's happening here. These tools amplify what you can do. They don't replace you. Think about it. Before calculators, people did math by hand. Calculators didn't replace mathematicians. They made math faster and more accessible. Same thing here. Gemini 3.0 doesn't replace designers. It lets designers work faster and try more ideas. Opus 4.5 doesn't replace writers. It lets writers focus on the creative parts while handling the repetitive stuff. People who win with AI are the ones who learn how to use it effectively. That's why understanding these tools matters, not just knowing they exist, actually knowing how to use them. Now, if you want to dive even deeper into AI automation, I've got something special for you. I run a community called the AI Profit Boardroom, the best place to scale your business, get more customers and save hundreds with AI automation. Learn how to save time and automate your business. The link is in the comments and description. It's at school.com slash AI Profit Lab. And if you want the full process, SOPs, and 100 plus A, I use cases like this one, join the AI Success Lab. Links in the comments and description. You'll get all the video notes from there, plus access to our community of 38,000 members who are crushing it with AI.